Hey girl, welcome back to a new video. Have you ever considered knotless braids but didn't want to sit hours for the braid? You should try these boho knotless crochet braids from Wide Wigs Hair. Today we will be doing a tutorial. This is my first time ever attempting to do a hairstyle like this, but it came out really, really pretty. So huge shout out to Wide Wigs for sponsoring today's video. Um, they did send me over four bundles of curly crochet hair this is real human hair on these bundles you guys okay so that's what makes it so so worth it each bundle was thick you get a lot of pieces and for my personal head i only used about two and like a fourth of a bundle um so you don't need all four for your head unless you just really want that density this process is a little bit different you are going to start by putting boxes in your hair. I guess that's the most simplest way I can put it. Um, you guys will see here, I'm just making boxes in the front of my hair. And this is just to mimic the actual braid um, that we'll be crocheting in there. So that will be the first part. This part probably took me like 30 minutes of just really boxing up the front of my hair. Um, and then you guys will later on see that I braid the back down and girl, yeah, we just get to crochet. But this part is a little tedious. So I am gonna start speeding it up. Right, so as y'all see, I'm starting to braid the back down. Um, I really needed a braid down, girl. My face was really telling it all. I was really focused on this hairstyle, okay? Um, but yeah, that's just me braiding the back down. Um, and this is honestly what you should get at the end of everything. Um, all I did was really just bobby pin the back up. But everything should look kind of flat like that. And like I said, the boxes in the front of my head is going to mimic where the actual crochet is coming from so I started to do the back and then I came back on camera because I had to get the gist of crocheting the hair um, and all you do is of course you take the hair pull it through the ponytail that you created and simply just loop it through and pull it down um, that's the entire entire process um, it's a lot easier at the top when it comes to the back um, it was a little difficult so um that's what kind of took me so long but the front was pretty easy like with those separate boxes in my head it just made it really easy and the hair turned out really pretty like honestly for just two packs of hair i was shocked of how full it was um it laid really really nice it came with a really good smell as well so this is some really good hair this is some really really good hair i wouldn't play with this hair if this is your vibe i would definitely recommend um this company for sure because the quality of this hair was amazing the curly hair was really really nice and yeah girl that's just me finishing off the braids um i'm gonna go in with some edge control and lay these edges down just look at the curls girl just real pretty real subtle not too big not too heavy it's really 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 cute 
I'm going in with some edge control, laying these edges. I did add some water and a little bit of oil to the hair just to give the hair a little bit more shine. And girl, this was it. It was so easy to do, so easy to install. So pretty too, really, really pretty, really, really natural. And I love the color as well. It's a real natural brown color that everyone can wear really really in love and that is the final look you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope it helped you it was definitely a first time for me but it was very simple thanks to white wigs huge shout out to them for sponsoring today's video make sure you like comment and subscribe and yeah let me know what you think below like would you rock this it's summertime are we done with the wigs do we want to try something new let me know but yes, girl, gorgeous. Until next time, I will see y'all later.